Hey guys, it's Jace over here with Y Inc. Marketing and YDraw, and I'm here to talk a little bit about TrueView ads. Give you guys a few pointers on how you can get the best ROI running TrueView ads. So I wrote a blog with this. You can refer to the blog to get the details. Now this is take number two. I'm not doing any type of editing, so this is live. Any mistakes, just forgive them. And on top of that, I just did a recording. It was about 15 minutes, and I wanted under five, so we're going to jump right in. Now, for TrueView ads, the best thing you can do is be very, very specific. Don't let Google just take your money and run with it. You need to tell them exactly where you want to share your ads, and that's what <clears throat> share your ads, and that's what this video is about. So first off, you need to make sure you have an AdWords account. Go set one up. You also need to make sure you have a YouTube account. Get a YouTube account, get your video uploaded to YouTube. Once you're there, you can refer to this tutorial and it'll help you set up an actual ad. So here's a look at your AdWords account. Okay. What you need to do is run a video ad. Click on all campaigns. Then over here, it'll say campaign. We're going to go down here to online video. That's a way to get to it, or you can look here on your left hand side and you can see all video campaigns. But if you're just if this is your first true view ad video campaign, then you need to do it this you need to take this route. So click here, campaigns, go down to online video. Okay, that's gonna come up. Okay, what I want to do here, I'm gonna set up a new video campaign. I'm going to call it Y Inc. YouTube. Uh, let's go Y Inc. Video Campaign. I'm going to put $20. I'm going to leave all this. Now, normally you can click off Google Display Network. If you want to be very, very specific and if you don't have a huge budget, I would recommend taking off the Display Network. You can lose a lot of money in the Display Network. Okay, go down here. I just want to click the United States since that's where I'm at this needs to be catered to wherever your audience is at I'm gonna go with English so we're gonna go down English is selected okay so we're good there now I need to go to find the actual ad so you should have uploaded your video to YouTube I'm gonna find our our video you can go search by channel or you can go directly to the video you uploaded and you need to grab the URL. Once I got the URL, you put it in and it pops up. It finds it for you. Got it? Now you need to write a headline. Do some thinking on your headlines. There's a few things that I like to do here. I'm, I'm not going to take a lot of time on showing you the tips and tricks I'll just give you some ideas here because I want this to be a short video so online marketing company some things you might want to do here is go if you hit option 2 that gives you a TM symbol that just shows people you're a little more legit you're an actual company so online marketing company why it's not letting me put that many I like to use numbers so 356 Plus, happy clients get wank TM symbol number one online marketing company. So get wank. I'm gonna put more profits. I want to kind of put some benefits here. More profits, more leads. More business. Uh, it's not working. Okay. So I'm going to choose this thumbnail. You'll see right here you have in stream, which are running in front of the YouTube videos, and then you have display, where it'll pop up in search. Okay. You have those options and just let Google choose those formats now your display URL white marketing com and it puts it in there I'm gonna name this marketing video 
Okay. So you can do some advanced things. You can do YouTube landing pa page in display ads. You can do a companion banner in stream ads. Okay, this would be something if you have your banner ad, you can add that. I'm not going to do that right now. Got it. Start date, end date, cap on delivery, and device targeting. So you can say if you want it to run on mobiles, tablets, desktop. I'm going to leave all that as is. Okay, now target group. This is where it gets important. You don't want to let YouTube just make the choice where they're going to run your ads. So I'm going to put this as a placement to. Because when I say placement, I want to put these ads where I want them to go. So I'm going to put 20 cents. Actually, let's go to 40. It doesn't really matter. You'll get a fail once you start going. You'll see where your ads are running. You can be between nine cents and a dollar fifty. And over here on the right, it tells you kind of how many views a day you'll get. Now I want to edit this. I do not want my ads ran to any age group. Done. Interests. I don't want to choose any interests. What I'm interested in is the actual placement. So I can go here and say, okay, I want to find online marketing companies, or I can type in my competitors. So if I go online marketing companies, and if you take a look right here you can add it manually so if there's a specific video that you want to run on hit add manually and you'll be able to find it so here it is Dallas marketing video internet marketing video and Dallas marketing so bam I can run on that guy's video so or I can show ads on the right hand side where this one says featured so you actually have a marketing internet marketing company that you can run ads on so you can just find your competitors spend a couple hours research YouTube research your competitors find their channels find their videos and you can put in actual channels here so and you can watch it online marketing for swimming pools online video marketing company you can watch their video and see if you want to run your ad okay right there so if I chose I could run my ad right here Bam, skip ad. Okay, so if that's something I want to do, just add that video over here. And you put done. Save the target group. There it is. So here's my ad. Here's the video. Oh, it's just saying the stats aren't available until it starts running. Okay, now the big thing is your targets. You want demographics to be zero. You want topics to be zero. You want interest to be zero. And you want your placements to be however many you load here. Right? We, we only put on two, so we have two videos where it's running. If you, run, if you do some target groups and you have demographics like 10, if you don't click off the demographics or see a zero here, YouTube will run your ads to certain age groups. Same with topics, interests. If you want to be very specific, make sure these are all zero and your placements are two. Make sense? Okay. So once you have it up and running, it is now running. You'll just want to check in, see what you're getting as far as an ROI. You can get a lot more complicated if you do conversions, but that's about as simple as it gets. If you have questions, let us know. And this is Jace Vernon with White Marketing. And we'd love to help you in your marketing needs. Or if you're looking for a video, check out whydraw.com. And we will talk to you later.